How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 8 in my introduction to Python series. This is a really short video um, just about commenting in Python. Um, what are comments used for? Uh, when you start, we haven't done anything that elaborate, but when you start writing more elaborate programs, commenting is a good way to remind yourself why you're doing like something. So. Uh, you comment, you come back the next day, if you can't remember what you were doing or exactly why you were coding something a certain way, read your commenting, kind of go over your own logic, see why you were doing it that way. It's also for uh, people reading your program to understand what you're doing. So, it's a good practice to get into. I, I'll admit, when I started programming, hated commenting, but it is really, really important habit to get into not only helps you but helps anyone else who is reading your code especially like at the university level uh, TAs reading your assignments you get stuck on assignment sending it to a professor to see if he sees your problem sort of thing and also like if you use stack overflow online to uh, get help with an error you're having other people can read your code and see what you're doing so just quickly, going to go over single line comments and multi line comments. Single line comment, just the yeah, hashtag. That's all it is. And then whenever I write after that, um, so uh, programmed by Adam. That's another thing I do when I'm working on assignments. I uh, like to put stuff at the top. Um, just. I don't really know, like anyone can obviously remove this, but I like to put that at the top just to uh, kind of leave my stamp on the program, especially if it like circulates around. If you have your first name and last name on, you kind of prove it's yours unless someone's modified the code on you. Another good habit to get into. Um, so just program by Adam. Uh, I can put down version. So this is version uh, 1.0.1 of this program. And I can put down the date. So today's date is June. 12, 2014. Stuff like that. Now, just to actually show you, I wasn't going to do anything in PowerShell in this video, but just to show you, nothing happens. So I'll change the directory to my C drive, uh, source folder, and then my Python folder. There. Now, I called this program comments.py. So Python comments. Uh, py. Nothing happens whatsoever. Whenever it sees uh, a line that's a comment, just skips over it, ignores it. So that is a single line comment. Now, multi line commenting, uh, something called triple quotes. And this isn't really a hundred percent their purpose. Um, they were designed for something else, but uh, it's a way. Um, it's a way to do multi-line commenting. Now, if you've programmed in Java before, you'll know you can do this, and then whatever is inside these lines would be commented. That's kind of what I'm about to show you. So, triple quotes. Literally one, two, three quotes. It'll turn orange. Now, notice. Everything after this changes orange. Every line of code, even if I had other lines defined down here, every line of code is going to turn orange until I end off the triple quote. Now I can type out regular code. So that is a multi line comment. Um, so if you have a really long comment, like you can't really uh, give a concise explanation about what you're programming, kind of program, you know, halfway across the. Uh, page, drop down a line, and continue on, however many lines you need, just so if someone's not scrolling all the way over here and, you know, further to uh, read what you're doing. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. That is how you single line comment, and this is how you multi-line comment. Good practice to get into. I'll start using that in the future video so you guys might be able to understand the code I'm writing better. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe. Really going to help my channel get a bigger following. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you next time.